Welcome back to Fox and Friends. 17 minutes now past the hour. Well, how can you tell if your child is more than just a little overactive? Well, now there's a new test to help doctors identify attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Dr. Manny Alvarez, member of the Fox News Medical A team, joins us now to talk about this. Dr. Manny, nice to see you. Good morning. So this is real progress, it sounds like, trying to figure this out, because a few years ago, we didn't even know that ADHD existed, or at least we thought it was well, made you know, up. We, no, we always knew that it existed, but basically the fundamental problem with uh, missing the diagnosis is that this is an anecdotal di diagnosis. You know, right. your parents would say he's very uh, hyperactive, or your teachers would say it. So there was no accurate tool. This is now a new tool they call the quotation um, a measurement system, which really now uh, the doctors can really measure uh, from a computerized perspective how hyperactive, what lack of attention does a child uh, have. So how does it work? I understand there's a computer, so that yeah. immediately ropes me into it. So, <laughs> so there's a computer. How does this thing work, this well, test? Well, you know, they, they, what they do is they sit the child in front of this very boring type of computer, and he or she is basically following some prompter. Uh, and so the software is, is very accurate, uh, with about 90% accurate or so of making the diagnosis. Because, you know, look, there's a different behavior between boys and girls. You know, boys that have ADHD are... Uh, the inattentive and they are hyperactive. Girls, on the other hand, are inattentive. They don't necessarily are uh, hyperactive. So this software is able to tell both of those components of AD ADHD and therefore make the accurate diagnosis within a minute or two, by the way. Really? Because the test can go <coughs> up to 20 minutes. 20 but minutes. Within a minute or two, within you Within a minute know. or two, the, the software, the, 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 the data is being captured. Of course, it's being analyzed by a central computer, then automatically creates a report. The psychologist or the doctor, the developmental pediatrician, and then looks at that data and decides what kind of therapy. So whether it becomes a baseline then for future treatment. Absolutely. And what sort of therapy options are available for these yeah, multiple. kids? Multiple. There's, there's behavioral therapy, of course. There's also medication many times that a lot of pediatricians used to, you know, uh, choose to use. And then once you start a therapy, you can go back in 30, 40, 60 days and say, okay, is the medication working? Is it not working? Do we need to readjust it? Do we bring to, need to bring it down? So it gives you a tool that we didn't have before. So you go back, take the test again. Now, I know a lot of parents out there this morning probably saying, well, oh, I got to get my kid on this computer. I need to go get him tested. <laughs> no, yeah. is, it, is it experimental yet, or can they actually go out and get this test? Well, no, they can get it, but I tell you, one of the, the messages in this, uh, in this, and we did it at foxnews.com for in this story in particular, is that if you don't diagnose a child with ADHD, and they're hyperactive, and they have inattention, in in that's going to create problems when they get older, issues with depression, uh, right. poor performance in school, uh, drug abuse, you name it. There are many, many consequences uh, f you know, from not getting the proper diagnosis of ADHD. Well, you held my attention for the full four minutes. Yeah, here. I know. You passed the test. I passed the test. You Dr. Manny test. Alvarez, nice to see you as always. Go to foxnews.com and check out that video as well and get more information yeah. on that. Thanks so much. Thank you. Coming up here on the show, more.